Hey everybody, thank you for watching today's video. So in today's video, I am going to be testing out Walmart hair extensions. <laughs> so if you have watched my channel for a while or if you've seen any of my other YouTube videos, I have always been wearing hair extensions. So if you've seen any of my recent videos from like the time I started YouTube till now, I'm gonna guarantee probably 98% of the time I have hair extensions in. I just love them. I've been wearing them for almost 10 years. I started out wearing clip-in Bellamy extensions in like high school and college and then I tried clicks. I love clicks which are more permanent and I tried tape-ins from Bellamy. I love those. I tried hand-tied. I'm just a big hair extension fan. I think it's so fun to play with the length and fullness of your hair. I'm always one to be coloring my hair and changing my style and doing whatever with my hair. So it's really fun for me to play with permanent and you know daily extensions that you can remove. So before I started filming today's video, I actually went to the hair salon and took out my Clix hair extensions. So right now I don't have any extensions in and I literally just got home from the hair salon. So it feels so weird. Like I'm still kind of getting used to it, feeling like the fullness of like a natural head of hair instead of like a head of hair that's like packed with extensions. But I think it looks beautiful and I'm excited to kind of give my hair a break for a few months. But knowing myself, I knew that once I took my extensions out to give my hair this little bit of a break, I knew I would feel like, ah, like where is my hair? Like my hair, you know, feels obviously thinner and shorter and it just feels different than having hair extensions. And so knowing that about myself and knowing I would kind of miss that feeling of like having the option to have thicker, longer hair, I knew I wanted to grab some type of extension that I could just have for a couple of months, just in case if I wanted to wear longer hair for a picture or for a video or anything like that, I just like having an option like that. So. Since I'm trying to save money right now, I was like, I wonder if I could find like just an affordable extension and you know, maybe a hundred bucks or less and just something I could take out daily, throw it in, you know, take it off whenever I want and just kind of give my hair a break. So I did some research and I found Revlon Fabu Length extensions. And I found these at Sally's and they also have them online at Walmart. So not gonna lie, I actually bought these at Sally's in store. They had a whole selection, but I also, after I was researching and I found these at Walmart online. So I'm like, what? Like you can buy these hair extensions at Walmart and I think it was $49.99, so like 50 bucks and you get this hair extension. So I was like, what is this? It looked like the perfect color. I got it in the shade black and it's an 18 inch invisible crown wire extension. So I haven't played, I got two packs of them. I haven't played with them at all. I've taken them out of the packaging just to feel it. I've taken this one out of the packaging, but this one is still intact, just to kind of feel it. So this is my total like, you know, first impressions and review with you guys. Like I said, this was $49 and it comes with a two pack. It's like two wefts of extensions. I don't know. Um, I don't really know why, but me being who I am, I was like, I should get two packs so then I have four. <laughs> Cause they were so affordable. And I was like, what if I like it and I want it to be thicker? So I got two packs of the two packs. So I technically have four of these. So basically these are supposed to kind of be like a dupe for halo crown extensions. So I have been wanting to try the halo extensions, but they're a little bit expensive. I think they are like 400 and up and you know, I'm just, I would rather pay 400 and up for permanent extensions, not something like this that you take out every day. I can see why you would want it, but for me, I know that I know what I like, you know what I mean? So I bought this $50 hair extension to wear like from time to time for like two months, you know? So this is one of them. So this is half of the pack, looks like this. It has this clear wire right here that goes like on the crown of your head right here. So it should kind of blend right in with your hair and you should be able to see it. And then they did have a big color range. They had a lot of blondes and a lot of brunettes. I got, I think this is the darkest black. So it actually comes with two of these. I don't really know why. I almost wish they would have just connected the two wefts of hair together and put that on one like silicone band, just so it's a lot fuller. Like this looks more like the extension I would gravitate towards but when you take it in half, like you can really like see through that and it just feels really thin. 
So when I was buying this, like I said, I was at Sally's, but you can get these online at Walmart. I asked the girl, like, is this real hair? Like, there's no way this is real hair and it's like 50 bucks, so affordable, you know? But she said it was, and I don't really see anything on the box about like what the hair fiber is. So I don't know, but it says, oh, right here. 100% Spectra Blend Fiber. So is it synthetic? I don't know. But then I asked if you could use heat on it and she said yes and right here it says do not exceed 320 degrees. So I feel like it's probably synthetic that like feels like hair. It looks like hair. Is it hair? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a professional at this, okay? But yeah, this is like my first review. It feels like hair. It looks like hair. It doesn't feel like super synthetic like a wig, like a synthetic wig, like a Halloween wig. Like it feels nice. Like I was impressed by this, so that's why I bought it. Should we try this on? I think we should. Okay, so I have worn one of these before, not this exact one, but I have worn something like this. So I'm actually just gonna section off my hair a little bit. So what I see people do and what I did that worked for me when I used to wear something like this is I would just kind of like part my hair like from my part down to my ears. And then back and connect my thumb. So you kind of have like a little bit of this like half up, half down. Thing. Okay, so maybe we'll try one and then do another, I think. I'm just gonna take it and like place it right where I made that like part and it should just kind of fall right into place. So I'm really gonna try to lay it like right where I made that part and like really separate my hair so it kind of falls into that part naturally. That's a pretty good color match I would say. Oh my gosh, I think this might work. Okay, the one thing I'm noticing is I wonder if this is adjustable because this is kind of long so it's kind of hanging at a weird spot because it's too long and it's like going right over my ears so it's kind of poking out <laughs> where my ears are. So I wonder if you can adjust this. Looks like maybe. So the little elastic wire goes through the whole thing, but then on the ends here, there's a spot where it looks like you should be able to pull it. But is it working? I don't want to rip it, so I'm just gonna lay the other one down too. I do, wish that yeah this is definitely too loose i do wish that there was some little barrettes or some little clips on the like hair extension part back here that you could kind of clip to the back of your head just to kind of take the weight off of the crown of your head like having this band up here actually does get kind of heavy i've noticed a different time when i've worn these extensions like an extension like this and it gets kind of heavy and it kind of gives you a bit of a headache just a small one like i'm used to wearing hair extensions so it doesn't bother me that much but like if you really like don't want to be uncomfortable, like it is kind of weird. Okay, yeah, this is like a little loose. So I'm kind of like tucking it behind my ears. But that was like, what, one minute to put that on. So next thing I'm gonna do is lightly brush my hair on this part here. And I'm lightly doing it because like I said, this feels really loose. So I don't want it to like slide around. So obviously this is not connected to your hair or your head at all. So it's very much not secure. So I would not wear this to work out. I would not wear this like if you're like gonna go like, if you're gonna hug a lot of people, like it could like move if you're hugging a lot of people. Like I would wear this if you're like just having a quick photo shoot. But for that reason, like, I feel like it looks great. I literally feel like this looks great. And these are only 18 inches, but I feel like that's wrong. Unless it's because it's so loose. Because look how long it's, it's like, if these were straight, it's literally going, what the heck? 
heck, it's going like to my ribs. I feel like that's wrong. I feel like maybe they're more like 20 inches or maybe it's cause like I said, they're loose. But I feel like the color is great and the texture is great. The texture really matches my hair. Thankfully my hair is a little bit thinner right now because I just got my extensions taken out. So it does feel a little bit thinner, which is kind of nice for hair extensions. I always thought that having thin hair was a good thing because then you could wear extensions where people with thick hair, it's kind of hard to make the extensions blend. Like you have to get a lot of extensions in there to make it blend, but thin hair, you can kind of just get away with it. It's really easy. I think I like this. I think I'm impressed. So let me see like if brushing it kind of blends it better. Like, I think that looks great. Am I crazy? So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what that fiber is, but I guess since it's called a fiber, it's like synthetic, not human hair. So I have to do some research on like how I would wash these and like how I would kind of keep them style, like keep the style maintained without, you know, sacrificing like the integrity of them, even though they were only 50 bucks. But I guess I have another pack. I will say, I feel like the two together is definitely necessary. Like no wonder they make it a two pack. I'm just so curious why they don't just make both the wefts on one. I don't get it. Like maybe they should update that. But I feel like these are old. I feel like these have been sitting on the shelves for a while and I feel like they're on their way out. So if you are curious, like, and like kind of want to test these out for really affordable, like they might even be on sale because I feel like they're gonna be on sale because no one's buying them. You should try it. <laughs> I think you should try it. Even if like you just like get like, I don't know, just a color that kind of matches and just to try it, I feel like you would like it. So you do kind of have to keep those tucked behind your ear, which is kind of weird because they're just too long. Maybe if you have like a bigger head, it would kind of take up more space or maybe there's a way to tighten them. So what I kind of want to do, like how I would, you know, kind of fluff these up a little bit better and make them a little bit better, they make like the integrity of it a little bit better is make the band adjustable. So I kind of want to figure out a way if I could just like tie a little knot and make it a little bit tighter, like on both ends, just tighten it up a little bit. And then I think I might like sew in some clips, like right in the back, like right at like the nape of your neck would be nice. Or just like kind of back here behind the ears, just to have a little like snap closure, just so you know it's not gonna fall out. Like I don't feel like it's gonna fall out. And like I've worn these, like I said before, like these Halo extensions before, or Halo inspired extensions, and they don't fall out. It's kind of like you gotta intentionally take it out. But it definitely would feel more secure, especially because of the length of these. But they are so soft. I am so impressed. I just think it's so funny how well they worked. I had high hopes, like I was pretty impressed with them like when I bought them. But I like the, um, like it comes in a style that's kind of like a blowout. I'm impressed. That was my review of my Walmart hair extensions. If I was gonna rate them like one to 10, for what they are, I give them uh, eight. And I only give them an eight because they're too wide, like too big on my head. But otherwise, I'm really impressed and I really like them. So <laughs> for the next couple months, if you guys watch some of my videos and I have longer hair all of a sudden, this is what I'm wearing. Like, I'm not embarrassed to wear this. Like, I feel like it looks great, you know? But I will say there's definitely a time and a place and like a reason why I like to get like professional permanent hair extensions. They just look amazing. Professionals doing hair extensions are the way to go. You know, <laughs> like there's definitely a reason to get to get it done right. But if you just need something like this, or if you want something like this, like for an event or for prom or like your wedding or something, or just for a photo shoot, like I said, like what I, what I would wear it for is like a photo shoot. I think it's perfect. I think it gets the job done. I'm definitely gonna be gentle with them and try not to wash them and try not to wear them very much because I don't want them to like lose their shine and lose their prettiness because I feel like these could fade fast. I feel like they could like get crappy fast since they are some sort of fiber. But yeah, like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't know all the professional terms about hair extensions, but I will say for what these are, for the amount I paid for them, as a woman who has worn hair extensions for almost 10 years, I'm impressed. I like them. I think I might be keeping these. I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep these. I'm not gonna return them. I'm gonna keep these for sure. I love it. So. That's my extension review. I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video. I will try to link a bunch of colors of these down below if you guys wanna check them out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.